Labour have slammed the Tory party's budget plans today with Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeve saying overnight that nothing this Chancellor says or does can undo the economic vandalism of the Conservative Party over the past decade. So what would Labour do differently? Well, joining us now is Shadow Chief Secretary to the Treasury, Darren Jones. Good morning, Darren. Now, if Labour get elected, would you undo any of these predicted Tory tax cuts? <laughs> well, the key word in your question there was predicted. Uh, clearly, we're going to have to see what the Chancellor uh, announces today. But we sincerely hope that this is the last Conservative budget after 14 years of them in government uh, before the Prime Minister calls a general election. And if that is the case, uh, we will set out our fully costed and fully funded manifesto as part of that election campaign. Darren, I, I, get, I get it, actually, and I understand. I've heard for, for weeks and months that, that Labour can't give any specifics until the manifesto comes out. And I understand the game of politics, you can't respond. But let's talk about the, the, the overall view that the British public would have of the state of our nation right now. The highest taxation in 70 years, public services that are, frankly, not doing what they should do, problems with immigration, you can't see a doctor or a dentist, a lot of people, not just the jams, the just about managing, but people really, really struggling. We spoke to Jonathan Ashworth yesterday, a Labour thing of, you know, it's not a choice anymore to be on the dole. You need to go and try and, with our help, get work. There is no money. When Liam Byrne left that message, which caused huge embarrassment to your party in 2010, saying there's no money left, 14 years later, it seems the same. And I understand you can't, you, you can't say what you could do, but for today, for the British people looking at this and thinking, I don't buy this Tory government, I don't buy the tax cuts, what would Labour do? What, what do you say to the people watching this? Why would they trust you fiscally when for years, with respect, and I know you've changed, people haven't trusted you fiscally? Are they beginning to, and if so, why? Well, the first thing to say is look at our record uh, in government. When Labour left office in 2010, uh, national debt was a little higher because of the global banking crisis, but it was around 40% of the size of the economy. The cost of interest on that debt was uh, in the single number billions uh, each year. Fast forward 14 years, the Conservatives have borrowed money year after year on the country's credit card. We're now at 100% of the wealth of our economy in terms of our debt exposure, and the cost of that debt is higher than ever before. It's now the third largest department here in Whitehall, if you look at how much money we're spending on debt interest in the last financial year, over £100 billion of taxpayers' money on the interest payments alone on the Tories' debt after 14 years. So it's right that the public are looking at the country, they're looking at their pay, they're looking at their public services. Quite frankly, they're looking at their politics and seeing the Conservatives and saying, after 14 years of this chaos, it is time for change. And you asked me, what is Labour going to do about that? Well, look, first of all, we have to acknowledge that the inheritance that we will have from the Conservatives if we win the election this year is probably the worst inherited settlement any party has had since the Second World War. It's going to be hard to turn these things around. Uh, but our five missions on turning around the country are economic discipline. And we are trusted on the economy now by the public. If you look at polling and people's confidence in Rachel Reeves, the Shadow Chancellor, and Keir Starmer, the leader of our uh, party, uh, we're going to get to work. We've got to turn the economy around. And that's about investing in our public services services, modernising our public services, getting the economy uh, growing again. And that's going to be the only route to sustainable growth in the economy and getting this country back on track. Darren, if um, Jeremy Hunt later on today introduces policies, Labour policies, on non-DOMs, on windfall taxes, would you and your party be celebrating those decisions? Well, firstly, we're always very happy for the Conservative Party to adopt Labour policies. We put forward our policies because we think they're the right thing uh, for the country. And if the Conservatives today choose, for example, to take Labour's policy on closing the non-DOM tax loophole to fund public services, uh, we welcome that. But also, it's a humiliating U-turn for the Conservatives, who until yesterday uh, were saying that this was not an effective policy for the country. They're so bereft of their own ideas in the Conservative Party now that the only place they can look is to the Labour Party for the ideas that the country uh, needs. This is just another example uh, of why uh, we need to call an election sooner rather than later and why the British people are saying it's time for change. Just going back to that, and I'm, I'm not digging... I, I'm interested, genuinely, which is quite strange. Um, the non-DOM theory that you've been talking about for months, uh, unless I'm wrong, and I've been told by colleagues, is £3 billion, right? Now, with the greatest of respect, they reckon he's got 12 to play with today, which is apparently a lot of money. In terms of the state of this country, it's not. 
3 billion, Darren Jones, Shadow Chief Secretary to the Treasury, is not going to pay for everything that you've said. You've talked about fiscal responsibility. How are you going to pay for the rest? That's the issue, isn't it? You've changed from the party that would say, we'll give a pay rise, we'll print money. You've changed. I get that. How are you going to juggle the books? Yeah, well, look, the uh, announcement that we have in the Labour Party as it stands right now is that by closing the non-DOM uh, tax loophole, we think we can raise uh, just over £2 billion a year. Independent experts say it's more like three, three and a half, but we're assuming that there'll be a... A uh, conservative uh, uh, amount of money that will come in. So we're going for around the £2 billion figure to be on the safe side. Uh, and that is going to fund breakfast clubs in our schools. It's going to help uh, with £2 million extra appointments in the National Health Service. It's going to help with emergency dental appointments. Though all of those policies are fully funded um, and fully costed. And we've got to get away from this idea, if I might say so, that a billion pounds is not a lot of money. I mean, it is a lot of money. The question is, how do you spend it? And how do you make sure that where public services, for example, need to be made more efficient, you don't just keep throwing money at a broken system, but help public servants to become more efficient, to deliver the care that they became public servants uh, for in the first place. And that needs a government that has the energy and the ideas to get the economy growing again and get it back on track, but also to work with uh, citizens across the country and public uh, uh, servants who work in our public services to modernise uh, those services. So, look, a billion pounds is a lot of money um, and uh, it's hard to find because the Conservatives have spent everything and maxed out the country's credit card. But we shouldn't think that that's a small uh, amount of money because it's not. And Darren, just lastly, um, we heard overnight that um, Lord Mandelson has criticised Keir Starmer, not for fiscal policies, but in relation to his weight and suggested that he should lose a few pounds. Can I get your comment on that? Uh, well, I have to say, I think Keir Starmer, who... Uh, how old is Keir? I think he might be in his late 50s, early 60s. Uh, he's probably fitter than I am, and I'm 37. I think he plays football very frequently and probably more, if I might say so to my uh, uh, friend and colleague, Lord Mandelson, than he does. Um, so I think, you know, Keir... Is always happy to take advice from colleagues, but he's doing pretty well at the moment. He's fit, uh, he's fighting uh, for the country, he's ready for the general election, as we all are in the Labour Party. And we hope the Prime Minister calls that for May because we're fit and ready and keen to get on with it. Darren, thank you very, very much good indeed. Answer. Thank you so much. And to the bloke behind, get a job waving those flags the whole time. Uh, seriously. Um, thank you, Darren Jones. <laughs>